black women just showed out. They showed how intellectually challenged they are in America. Look, the the woman the Woman King movie, the bigger problem that a lot of people have who are sensitive to black well history and are aware of it, they know for a fact that it's not historically accurate to a degree. In fact, they're celebrating a black empire that sold Africans to America. Hey, I added this little post just to show that even though her character they're saying is against the empire that encouraged slavery, the bigger difference is again science fiction number one and number two, this is their way of promoting still defiance. Um, this did not happen and in fact there were no such women who did this. If this was historically accurate, wouldn't be problematic, but it's problematic mainly because they are justifying defiance from black men and trying to make it seem as though oh well uh, always go against black men and they put it in there and they're doing it with a community and with a group of women who have the most problems when it comes to marriage and dating and even if they want to blame or just justify blaming the black men the problem is is again that one's stopping them from dating out so yeah soft way of black women showing that yes because it was a test. It was honestly a test. You know, Black Panther is different because while it's celebrating black culture, there are co obviously there are plenty of things that are science fiction. However, the stuff that was fiction in here, a lot of black women, it, it went over their head. And even when it brought up, because I'm looking on the Facebook and some of this stuff, but even when it comes up in the arguments, the women are like, well, why can't we just have good black exposure? What? No. The problem is this deals with black history. And I said it before, eventually they'll use black women to rewrite reparations and slavery. They'll use them to rewrite all the stuff that happened. Just like how when it comes to politics, they try to use, when they can't use it, they try to use black people who want to be a Republican or want to grift or want to be heavy Democrat and use them to ignore stuff that happened in the past. Black people being used and utilized by either governments or state governments or by big businesses. They try to ignore that. Heavy. Heavy. And even back then, there were grifters. But all it meant was you got less whippings. And, and they try to historically act like, well, there weren't grifters. But yeah, there were grifters black back then. Especially when you consider the edge of lethality. The difference is, is back then they used to kill you and no one would care. Today. They kind of they kind of need to uh, they kind of need to prove that they're not racist or it's the only way to make money in America across social media. You have to grift. But getting more to the point, the nastiest part about this is they tested, hey, in some shallow waters, hey, hey, if we make a movie celebrating black women by a tribe that actually sold them out. Will they accept? Will they deny it? Or will they accept it? And they used the, uh, they used her as an actor. And the thing is, like, there have been roles that have been carried out by men, but it was back then when a lot of men did not get exposure, and a lot of black women have called out black men for doing certain things, doing this, that, and the other. And what's the word for it? It starts with an M. But it's basically the black version of blackface where we make fun of ourselves. But it was because it was for money. Viola Davis didn't need the money here. But here they are saying we care more about exposure. We care more about uh, other people making us kind of look good. Look, Black Panther was fantasy, but everyone who saw it understood that. And no one took it in a bad light. It wasn't negative. All the, the ne most negative thing they could say was it was fantasy. But here we have them messing with history, messing with history, our history. And black women don't care. And that's horrifying. And you want the most horrifying thing about it is a few of my black family members are OK with it. They're cool with it. They accept it, even to my mother. And the thing is, like, when I was about to, well, she doesn't know, but when I was kind of messing around with, you know, non-black women and she found out she was the first one to be like, oh, you don't do that. Oh, and this, that, and the other. But here you go being a puppeteer. 
You see, it's so easy to to get black women because they kind of set them up systematically. You see, just like black women know our pressure points, the big market knows black women's pressure points. And these black women, I guess from my mom, even to this generation, will pick exposure and being seen in a positive light over being historically correct. And the thing is, the, ba- the civil leaders of back then wouldn't take it. The civil leaders who, who fought the hardest would not take it. They would correct them on this. They would be honest about this. But the women don't care because they are what they've shown is they're willing to sell being black. And the thing is, you know, this movie's on the left. You know, this movie is a left. It's a left piece. And you see all these women celebrating it. So now that we know that they're willing to celebrate it, now we see them for what it is. Because this 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 is not good for black people. They're trying to rewrite our history. Look, get what you can and either get out or figure out how to not depend on the women here in America because they're willing to be brainwashed, brainwashed. And again, it's not all of them, but even the ones who are like, yo, I, I'm accepting of this that, and the other, you know, either they play with it, they're not sure, or they're conditional. In other words, you got to be on that level of hypergamy. They'll be like, yeah, I'll defend black, but I'll defend black. When I get the best options and that's troublesome because in reality, this is, this is not something that any other race really has to go through. But again, it is very, very scary because a lot of black women have shown that they care about exposure more than being well, correct, being historically correct and stuff like that. And that's because these factors are so close. And again, I said it before in another video, black women will sell out our community. And, and, and y'all, y'all black men don't want to believe me. Y'all really don't want to believe me. But the what the seismic test that I used was based on them discouraging black men based off of just topical stuff. I used it. That, that's that's why I focus on certain things. And when they were like, oh, we're all going through the struggle as black people together. But as a black woman, I better get the best option out of black men. What the fuck? You ain't struggling enough. If that's your argument, black men have always been willing to go down on looks. But black women kept taking advantage of that. And now they don't add anything to a household. Men step up, men do whatever, and it's never counted. Instead, they count the data the way they want to to make black men look bad. And now we have proof that black women are aware of it. You see, constantly as they send out these type of signals and stuff, they let us know with this movie, for example, that black women are in on the game. They're in on the on the they're in on it. They're in on it. They 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 are cool with it. They're aware that black men are being being treated like this that, and the other, but they don't care to amend it because it benefits them. This is actually horrifying. This is troublesome. This is this is a lot of things. But if you're a black man in America still fighting for this, I'm gonna ask you to put. I'm a, mm, I, we're on YouTube, so I'm gonna censor it. But I'm I'm you know what? I'm make a video. I make a video asking black men to put their life on black men, black women's loyalty, because they don't already they already don't like all black men. They only mess with 20% of men. If that's the case and they're still mistreating, I'm going to ask you to put your life on those numbers. Like, be a man and, and put your life on those numbers. Spin a roulette. Do it. Because this isn't even cute anymore. They're willing to sell us. They're willing to sell us out. And I'm not saying it was right when black men did it in the past. It, it wasn't right. What they did, they... They did the man blackface version of it where they sold themselves out. They did that. But it was the only way for some of them to make money. That's different from now. Now you have Dave Chappelle and other people walking away from clearly racist things and things that don't 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 deal with race in a healthy way. This is the end of it. And black women have clearly made a choice separate from black men and not all black women, but a good percentage of them. 
Holler with Lunar Dew. Lunar Dew.